One of the largest birds in Florida, the great blue heron. This one is young and he is hungry, so he heads to the hunting grounds. Notice how its neck is drawn into an S shape. Working like a spring, this allows the bird to shoot out its beak at lightning speeds. He waits patiently, because the longer that he stays still, the fish won't see him, and they'll get closer and closer and closer right into the danger zone. Notice how its speed and power allowed its beak to go right through the fish. <laughs> now it's got to find a safe place to get that fish off his beak. Even deep in the wilderness, I find plastic. This is a much older great blue heron. He is much more comfortable walking in the deeper ends of the riverbank. It has very few predators to worry about because of its size. These Florida alligators won't really mess with him. Plus, being this tall means he has a higher lookout. They're mainly at risk when they're young, when they're eggs and around one year of age. After that, they become quite large and they're very cautious creatures. Like a true hunter, the great blue heron must maintain its blade. It cleans its beak while rubbing it against the tree. Its long, mangrove-like legs helps it hide above the water surface from prey and predators. This allows the bird to get very close to its prey. Looks like I'm not the only one having trouble with yellow flies. Thank you guys for watching, 
having a lot of fun making these. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Check me out on YouTube as well. Much love and have a great day.